Hi guys, today we're taking you on a tour of new construction out in Desert Color by request from one of our clients. We would like to thank uh, DR Horton and their listing agent for allowing us to walk through what is soon to be a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom home plus office. So technically it could uh, be considered a four bedroom, but I guess that office bedroom does not have a closet. So this property has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, open floor plan and it is 2139 square feet and the lot that we're currently on is a 0.18 acre lot so it's not a super large lot um, let's take a look and hopefully having me in the frame will give you somewhat of an idea don't have any hard hats but it is looking like it's vertical and things are relatively safe here so um, this is the two car garage. It's kind of angled. And then this will be the main entry. Um, all of these homes on this street, um, have kind of a cool modern looking floor plan and concept. Uh, we'll show you some of the other options here since this video doesn't show you a whole lot. Um, we'll include some drone footage to give you a better idea for this neighborhood. So I think, what do you think this room is? Is this, a, this is a single bay? No, uh, not, so let me see. Is a three car? I believe it's a two car. Cause this looks like it would be a single bay for the three car. That is how also- it's, How it's uh, framed off. Yeah, you're exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So I'm standing inside of a single bay. It has a three car garage. So this is the single bay and there's a double bay right here. Connects. Just be careful, watch your step. The garage looks pretty spacious. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are like me, it's really hard to tell what the dimensions of the house will look like when it's finished at this stage because you could literally see through the walls. So this is the living room area and the kitchen island will go in here. Right here, I'm gonna come over here to film you so. So the kitchen island will be somewhere right, right around here. Uh, it looks like there will be a sink or it is possible that this will be on the other side. Yeah, it's hard to picture when you don't have plans yet. It is super hard to tell without plans. Uh, then I think, and on top of it, there's some supporting members right now, so it's hard to tell. Uh, so this is a doorway. Let's, let's start over here from the front door. Okay. That's gonna be your best bet. Yes, so this is the front door of the house and it will have a little pergola slash awning over it that already has the lumber in place. And with a property that's 2,500 square feet uh, or 2,300 square feet, on a 0.18 acre lot, as you can imagine, for a single story home, this home itself has a rather large footprint and it takes up most of the house. So this is, I'm assuming, an office right off the front uh, it's got foyer. A, and it's got a pretty large um, opening. Yeah, it's got a pretty large opening, so it'll have a French door or just a, a large opening. And then a large window that opens to that side. Two, two big windows. And it's got a small closet right here. So it could be used as a bedroom. Mm -hmm. Once you jump out of there, um, I think this will be either powder or a laundry room. Uh, probably a powder. Um, so this is the closet for this room. So that's the closet and then that will be a powder ba bathroom. That's the half bath. Mm -hmm. So then this will take us into the living room. The living room will have nice sliding patio door that will take you out into the backyard. And there's not a ton of space back here. So like I said, with a 0.18 acre lot, the square footage of this slab takes up most of the backyard. Let's actually hop out here and take a look. 
Careful, watch your step. So there's some good height on this privacy wall. And I am six foot two, six foot three, depending on the day. And it looks like I can't, I can't see over this wall. So there's a great deal of privacy in every direction. The backyard is fully fenced. There's not a ton of space back here, but this will have a, a nice big patio. You'll have some room for barbecue. And if you have any pets, that, that would be a, that would be a plus as well because it's fully fenced. Um, but living in desert color, I think most people don't really care as much about the size of their own backyard because there's so many amenities that you get with the lazy river, the clubhouse, the giant pool. Um, so I feel like if you're paying for that aspect of the amenities, it's not a huge deal if you don't have a ton of room in your own backyard to have a pool. Um, at least that seems to be a concept that's working for this community. Where do you walk in through the garage? There's got to be a laundry room over there. So I think there's a laundry room. So we're now in the living room, kitchen area. So here's a doorway. So there's a doorway there's, that takes you that's into... That's the pantry. To the, to the right. That's got to be the pantry off the kitchen. Yeah, so just a little pantry right here. Or and another then... right here. This is probably the... Don't you think this is a pantry? I don't know. We could <laughs> reference the plan. I have no clue officially. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, there's a hallway right here that takes you into what I think is one of the bedrooms right here in a the corner. There is a closet for it. Then there is a bathroom right here. So I'm guessing this is probably the master bathroom. And then this would have to be the master suite. No, that, that's too small to be the master. So these are probably just two bedrooms that share this bathroom. This could be a Jack and Jill bathroom in the middle. You're exactly right. Yeah. So this must be a Jack and Jill bedroom, bedroom, and then the master bedroom is right here. And yeah, it's, it's quite a bit more spacious. So you'll walk through this hall. Looks like there's a closet right here. I'm sure it probably looks super confusing in the video. And then this is got to be a master. So the master, pretty good size. It's really hard to tell, and things usually look much smaller uh, before the drywall goes in. Bathroom's right behind you. So the master bathroom is right here. It looks like there is a divider for the shower or tub. No, the shower must be right here. Then there is the separate water closet in the really good size master closet. That's a huge plus because that master closet is almost the size of one of the bedrooms. Yeah, that's huge. That's got two, two good size windows in here too. That's awesome. Well, this is our attempt at giving you guys a preview of new construction before we even have drywall. If you guys are just as confused as us, let us know in the comments <laughs> below and we'll share some footage of this beautiful community because I think this is primarily the reason why people want to be in desert colors because it's such a unique boutique community in Southern Utah that has all the amenities right here. Henning was just some mediocre footage of a home that wasn't quite ready. So we spoke to the builder's agent and we were able to get into this home that's about four weeks out from completion. So let's check it out because some of the finishes and a lot of the 
interior design touches should be pretty similar as most homes in this community will have um, similar selections that you could pick from. So the exterior is a little bit different. I believe the square footage of this plan is pretty similar to the one that you're interested in, the one that we originally showed in this video. The layout is a little bit different. It's, it's the same floor plan. Is it the same floor plan? Uh -huh. oh, I stand corrected. This is exactly the same floor plan. So hopefully this layout will make sense now. So we're walking in through the front door. That was the patio that we saw, and this is the office. And that ah. looks like it's glass. It just has a Yeah, so this is frosted glass that has, uh, it actually looks like it's painted glass. Like if you, you should be able to see the sunlight shining through. Yeah. They, they, there's probably a film on it. They gotta kill off. Yeah, to get it's not, not quite finished. It hasn't been cleaned. This property is about four weeks out from being completed. Um, nice closet in this room. So this would be perfect for an office. Um, LVP flooring throughout. Nice uh, eight foot doors. So as we go further down this hallway, we were right, there is a powder room right in here. It is still missing a sink fixture. And there's a little coat closet right outside of that powder room. So this home is not quite yet finished. So we've got about four weeks for this to be complete. This hallway takes us out into the living room. This home has a nice large living room. And actually the home that we viewed earlier, and I'm assuming that there will be some block wall on the exterior, but there's a really nice large patio area just outside of these uh, sliding doors. We've got uh, nine foot ceilings here with eight foot doors. Looks like these will be the, the vanities that are going into the bathrooms. Nice modern looking light fixture here. Um, oversized center island, looks really nice. Shaker style cabinets that are painted gray, kind of a unique touch. We were right about the pantry. It does have a, a pretty large pantry. Take a look at that. There's an opening for a standard size refrigerator here. And then this hallway takes us to a large laundry room with some nice tile flooring. And it is set up for an electrical dryer. You don't have an option for a gas dryer in this community. And let's take a look at the garage. It's a good sized mud room. And it has a two car bay on this side. And it has a little walkway that takes you into the single bay. The water heater is going to be kind of in a corner off uh, into this walkway and this single bay looks to be pretty good depth. You could probably easily fit a truck in here. Got outlets all over, that's nice. Has a nice freshly poured driveway. Be a shame if somebody walked on it. Let's check out the bedrooms. So as you walk in from the garage, that's probably the way you would typically enter your property. Um, straight through this hallway, we have a really large bathroom right here. That's why I was confused because it felt like that bath was like, like the size of a massive, like a master bath. Yeah. Has a single vanity uh, room for a nice large mirror, toilet and a full uh, bath. So it wasn't Jack and Jill. I was under the impression it was Jack and Jill. I love that and then, the cabinet colors match the, uh, the veins and the marble flooring. That yeah. awesome. So this is a pretty good size. Like I was telling you guys in the previous video when we walked through just the bones of this home, things look considerably smaller. This is a good sized bedroom. Has a nice large closet. It's actually a walk-in closet. Take a look at that. That's pretty large for a bedroom this size. Yeah. And then there is another bedroom on the other side of this bathroom. 
And it looks like the bedrooms will have the carpet. There's some fresh carpet pad rolled up in here. And this bedroom is similar in size. So it's probably about 12 by 12 by 10 maybe right here. It's a little bit um, oddly shaped with this opening for this door. Yeah. Let's go check out the master bedroom. So we've got two bedrooms on this side of the house. Then there's a hallway closet right here. It's a good size linen closet, storage closet, whatever you want to use it for. And the master bedroom has um, a little bit of a hallway right here. Three large windows. This master opens up to the back. This backyard actually feels very private as well. It looks like there's a, that wall, is that so wall looks like an eight foot wall. It's yeah. extra tall. There's a tray ceiling right here in a master. And I feel that you would be able to fit um, maybe a California King comfortably in between those two windows. And a nice touch that this builder did is they put in an outlet at the height of the TV. I feel like every single builder needs to be doing that because people most commonly put their TVs on the wall and it's just really nice to have it right there. And there's also um, a snorkel set up right here to fish your TV cables, HDMI cables down to whatever you have plugged into your TV, like maybe a dish receiver or something like that. So check out this master bath. Nice, beautiful tile flooring. It looks like it's got the non-slip texture. And I guessed everything wrong <laughs> while walking through uh, the previous plan. So there is a soaking tub right next to the shower. Right behind Michonne, we have room for a dual vanity. This is nicely finished with uh, a glass door and a glass divider that separates it from the soaking tub. Then we have a designated water closet. And take a look at the size of this closet. It's a really good size closet. Yeah, it's huge. Do we cover everything? Yep, we, we can take a, go, uh, take a look in the backyard too. Sweet, let's go uh, walk off the back patio to give these guys a better idea on the size. Don't trip. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can even get out there. As long as there's no concrete. It feels like a really spacious layout. Those lights didn't turn on or I would turn these on for you guys. I'm gonna give you one more look from this corner. Oh yeah, me. I don't wanna, you know what, I don't wanna open the sliding door because I don't wanna get more dirt in the track, but you kind of get the idea. Similar 0.19 acre lot. Um, living room has the same thing, so this wall on the, in the living room is set up. That's kind of where the builder is assuming your TV is gonna go. Um, some really nice, useful touches, good looking hardware. Fit and finish looks good, but it's hard to tell uh, fit and finish at this point because this home is still four weeks out, has not been cleaned, and the final punch list has not been finished. But if you guys have any questions, if you'd like to set up a time to see this home in person, or if you have anything else real estate related or St. George related, drop them in the comments below or give us a call. Thanks, and we'll see you next